If you have an idea for a photo project, but you feel like you're just not ready to get started or you don't know where to start or where to find an idea for a photo project, I'm here to tell you that you very likely have everything you need to get started today. I've talked about photo projects plenty of times here on the channel, both my own and then also other photographers and books that photographers have made. I think it's a really beneficial thing for photographers to do, to spend time focused on one subject or one topic, and you're going to learn a lot about not only the subject matter, but also yourself as a photographer. I also think it's a great way to just stay engaged with photography as our motivation or inspiration kind of ebbs and flows. Having something that you're kind of working towards in mind, it's a good way to just stay connected to it. And you don't have to have a specific end goal in mind. You don't have to envision everything from start to finish before you begin. You can just start with a simple idea and just see where that takes you. And if you're anything like me, it's easy to just stop yourself before you even get started or shoot down ideas because it's not good enough. It's not original enough. You know, you think, well, this photographer has already done something similar to that or that just reminds me of this photographer. They do that kind of thing. At this point, everything out there has been done. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Photography, as you apply it to things, I think is so subjective and everyone has their own unique experiences that that's going to dictate how you approach things and how you photograph things. So you don't have to come up with this, you know, completely original idea that nobody has ever done or nobody could ever think of. Uh, you can start simple with what you know and what you're already familiar with. For me, my first book, Friend of Mine, wasn't an idea that I had to make a book. It was just that I had made pictures around Chillicothe, Ohio, my hometown, all kind of in the same feeling. I, I had a certain way that I was trying to show Chillicothe, and it wasn't until doing it for a couple of years and looking at all the pictures that I realized that could actually be something that I had already been working on. Really simple concept. It wasn't anything complex. It was just me showing my hometown and sort of the love that I had for it and the way I wanted to show it. My latest book, Surveyor, that's just about out now, that book on paper, it's really not all that different from friend of mine. I didn't come up with a completely new idea for a different book. Surveyor is pictures around Chillicothe, Ohio, and kind of looking for that sense of home and what that looks and feels like. And the two books side by side look and feel completely different. I approach them both differently, but on paper, if you're just looking at the idea itself, Pictures around Chillicothe in this book and pictures around Chillicothe in that one. You really don't have to reinvent the wheel here or come up with something new. The books look and feel completely different even though they started with the very similar ideas. A great example of just starting with what you know, one of my best friends, I got him into photography around 10 years ago or so. And when he started out, he was learning just by, you know, documenting what was around him, how a lot of us start learning. And, you know, he was taking photos of the bands that he was in, going on tour, going to practices. And, you know, he and I were talking about photo projects and he really wanted to work on something and was trying to think of what he wanted to shoot. And I was like, you've got a project right in front of you. All of the photos that you've been making all this time around going to shows, going on tours, that in itself is a project. That's something that you can focus on and show. Is that a completely original idea that no one has done? No, it's been done hundreds of times probably by different photographers, different musicians, but it's his unique perspective. It's him showing his own experiences, not just everybody's. It's what he was already around, what he was already making pictures of, and to this day, he's still doing it, and he's built up just this massive body of work of his life as a musician. It wasn't started with a book in mind. He didn't have an end goal in mind. He's just been chipping away at it all these years, and as a result of that, he's got a lot to show for it. And these were all pictures and things he was already around, so it's a great place to start. But you can also kind of flip that on its head and use the camera as a way to learn about something. What do you wish you knew more about? Maybe there's like a subculture of something, this really kind of niche topic that you don't know anything about, but it's interesting to you. What would it look like to photograph that? Or if there's something in your community, maybe it's like an issue that you want to bring awareness to. What would it look like to use the camera as a way to not only inform yourself, but also inform other people? All it takes is just one simple idea for you to commit to, and then you can start. You can start brainstorming and asking questions, getting out there with your camera. I think that's the most important thing, and that's where a lot of the ideas I think are really going to start coming to life. 
but just picking something and starting. Don't stop yourself before you get started. Just the other day, I was thinking, my new book, it's almost out. What do I want to work on next? After this is out there, I'm ready to start something new. And one idea I've always had is focusing on Route 50. I grew up on Route 50. I lived there all my life up until just a couple of years ago. And I've made a lot of pictures along Route 50. But Route 50 stretches all the way across the country. But there's one specific stretch of it that passes through the southern region of Ohio. Chillicothe, Ross County, we're basically right in the middle of it on the southern end. So I've got about two hours east and two hours west. And I've made some pictures along Route 50 and other places, uh, specifically east of Chillicothe going towards Athens. I've made that drive hundreds of times over the years. But there's so much of Route 50 that I've just driven past and I haven't actually spent any time there. And I really want to focus on just that stretch in Ohio because it's a beautiful drive, a lot of small towns, a lot of things that often just gets overlooked. And that's something I've wanted to do. I want to spend time there. So I thought, OK, Ohio, Route 50, that's something I've wanted to do for a long time. That's what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll start on that one next. And then I thought, I'm not going to start later. I'm just I'm just going to start now. I'm just going to get in the truck and drive. I had a couple hours during the school day uh, before I had to get back to pick Elliot up. And I just thought, let me just take a long drive, a long 50. I'll bring my camera and I'll just start looking. I'll start kind of brainstorming actually being out there, not just sitting inside and thinking and writing, but actually being out there actually receiving input from things around me and that's when the ideas really kind of started kicking in. I didn't put it off, I didn't overthink things, I just got in the truck and I went. And as I was out there thinking of all the different things I'd like to shoot and I don't have an end goal in mind. Will this be a book? I don't know. Will it be in a gallery? Will I share the work? I don't know. I would love to. Obviously I love making books and things like that and I hope to do that. But I have no end goal in mind. I have no idea what this will turn into. I'm just going to put time in and spend time there and just keep chipping away at it and just see what happens. I have no idea what I'll come across or the people I'll meet as I work on this. And those kind of things, those experiences will directly influence where the project goes and how it kind of branches out and the direction it will take. And those are the kind of things that I'm most excited for is just letting myself find it along the way. Driving along Route 50 with a camera. It is not a crazy or complex concept at all. There are so many photographers who have done projects just on road trips and just driving along with their camera. But everybody approaches it their own way. Everybody has their own connections to it. For me, growing up right on Route 50 and driving it a bunch as I was growing up, that's just something personal to me and my experiences and how I approach things. That's going to lead to something that only I can make. And whatever your experiences are, whatever your personal connections to things are, that's going to dictate how you shoot things. So you don't have to come up with some completely unique idea or something that no one has ever done. Just start with something that feels right to you and just don't stop yourself first. So whether you've had an idea in mind for a while, but you've just held yourself back from starting, or you feel like you don't have anything to start with, there's very likely something right underneath your nose where you can get started today. You can start brainstorming, you can start writing, asking yourself questions, getting out there with your camera, whatever it may look like, just start today and keep putting the time in. This has been on my mind a lot over the last few days, and that's why I wanted to share it with all of you. So I hope this resonates with you. If so, I would love to hear about it in the comments down below. But that's all I've got today. So thanks for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see you next time.